Back on Newsmax Prime, J.D. Hayworth joined by Miranda Khan. And you know, Miranda, ISIS continues to brutally target Christians in the Mideast. Their war on Christianity is unprecedented, causing a mass exodus and prompting concerns about the future of Christianity there in the Mideast. And in many parts of Iraq and Syria, there are no Christians left. But one organization, Restore Nineveh, now is trying to hopefully fix that. We hope they can. For more on this subject, we're pleased to be joined via Skype from the Show Me State of Missouri by Jeff Gardner, the Communications and Media Director for Restore Nineveh Now. Jeff is also the author of the book, Exiled. Let's uh, let's take it from the top, Jeff. Tell us about your organization, sure Restore Nineveh Now. Yeah, thanks very much, J.D. Thank, uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. Restore Nineveh Now is an initiative that we started almost a year ago. It's uh, driven by a coalition of groups, both in the United States and internationally. And our underlying thrust, our theme, our, our main point is solve this problem. You alluded to the refugee problem. But to solve the problem in Iraq and the Middle East, and to solve the instability, what needs to happen is a semi-autonomous region for Christians and other religious and ethnic minorities. You know, people often uh, will say that the West has uh, messed up the Middle East or, 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 or caused the instability. That's not entirely true. The mistake that the West made after the First World War was copying the model that the Turkish Empire had in which they jammed together Christians under the rule of Muslims. It hasn't worked then, it doesn't work now. The way out in much the same way that the way out for um, stability for uh, Jewish people in the Middle East was to establish a region that was autonomous, that is the state of Israel, mm -hmm. is to do the same thing. Baghdad approved the, the establishment of a province, the Nineveh Plain province and the Sinjar right. province back in January of 2014. Unfortunately, and, standing in the way of that is ISIS, the so-called Islamic State. Right. Jeff, you said the goal there is to solve the problem. So what are you doing to help do that? Yeah, absolutely. Two things. Currently, right now, our focus is on providing training and equipment and then the necessary support for Assyrian fighters and Yazidi fighters. And that's an important distinction here that often uh, people will refer to the Christians of Iraq or the Christians of Syria, the Middle East. And in terms of their faith, yes, they're Christian, but their ethnic heritage is that of Assyrian. Not Syrian, Assyrian. It's a, a, a distinct people. So we are providing support, training, and, uh, and equipment for those groups, both in Iraq and Syria. Because the, the, the fact of the matter is, minus a sense of security and stability, nobody is going back anywhere. Even if these towns that have been swallowed up by ISIS, these Christian towns, these Assyrian towns, are liberated, the refugees that are, and, I, and I've been in the camps, I've, I, I've been there in Iraq and I've been there in Jordan. The refugees that are um, allowed to be set free, they're not going back without security and stability. They don't trust the Kurdish uh, soldiers who abandoned them when ISIS invaded back in the summer of January 2014. And they need their own defensive units. That's what we're doing right now. Well, you're trying to train up those units, said Jeff, but I'm just wondering, too, are we seeing Americans get involved in this on the ground in terms of being voluntary boots on the ground? We have to a small extent. Now, we, we had the first wave of Assyrian uh, volunteers, young men, who were taken right out of the um, refugee camps in cities like Erbil and Dehuk uh, for Assyrians, that's Nohudra, uh, come in. And we had four American uh, Army veterans, Afghan, three Afghan veterans, and an Iraq veteran, they're helping with us. But we believe that ultimately the long-term solution lies with the Assyrians themselves, lies, lies with those people themselves. There are natural allies in the region. They are most in line with our objectives as a country, and they want to fight. They, they have, have to you know, bear the brunt of the ISIS brutality, in, both in terms of number and in terms of scale, and they want to be part of the solution. You know, we, we pour hundreds of millions of dollars into training the Free Syrian Army. And, and, and literally, we get something like, you know, 50 or 60 fighters who immediately, whether they were captured or defected, uh, are, are swooped up by al-Qaeda. We don't have this problem with the Syrians. We should be, as a nation, investing in these individuals, in these men and women who want to fight. Let me just ask you this. A little more than a minute remains. Um, I'm interested if, if others who are watching this want to help your organization, how is the best way for them to get involved? 
Absolutely. Go to RestoreNinevahNow.org. RestoreNinevahNow.org. We have information right on the, the, the homepage about how they can get involved. We are helping with the training of men in Iraq, and we're helping with the support of fighters in Sy Syria currently right now. So on both fronts, we're, we're doing what we can do to push back against ISIS, and everybody has a part to play. Jeff Garner, we thank you so much for your time. Look forward to having you back sometime to talk about your ebook, Exiled Nineveh. Yes. In the Bible now in modern day, uh, we, we think about uh, Mosul, but Nineveh, the area where Jonah went to or got in a little bit of trouble in uh, Holy Scripture. Yes. And we'll see what happens there, and we really appreciate Jeff's time. There is more ahead, so stay with us as we continue here on Newsmax Prime.